Years in the making, the new Helen DeVos Children's Hospital opens tomorrow in West Michigan. The children will be moved from the old DeVos Hospital to the new one. And joining us now is Vice President of Nursing and Patient Care, Sherry Swanzel. Appreciate your time this morning, getting ready for a really busy day. That move really key tomorrow. Can you tell us a little bit about the process for making that happen? Absolutely. It's um, unbelievable that it's less than 24 hours away. Um, we've been preparing for this day for, of course, years, and we've actually been preparing for the move day for about a, a year. We've had a team of about 30 people who have been preparing and working to make sure that we have a really safe move as we transition our patients. So, Did a practice run? We did a practice run. We had some community folks there with us, some kids from some local schools were our patients for the day. It was great. We could actually practice our processes, um, and we have lots of people helping us. In fact, Aeromed's going to um, bring some teams over to help us move our um, PEDS ICU patients. Those are, of course, highest acuity patients, and they transport patients every day, so they're coming to help us out. And right now we're seeing some video of the new ER. Can you tell us some of the special features in the new hospital? Anyone familiar with the old one will really be surprised with what they're finding here. Uh, they really will. What's most exciting for us, the whole experience, of course, is exciting, but having our brand new own um, children's hospital ER, the emergency center, our surgical areas, um, our diagnostic areas where we do radiology procedures, those have always been departments within departments, um, with a hospital within a hospital. So now we're going to have our very own specific two kids um, areas or places in those areas and that just allows us to give really safe um, high quality care we've done that over the years but having a facility that allow that is all built for kids with equipment and supplies and staff specifically for kids makes it that much better of an environment now kids are people too <laughs> but there really is something different about caring for children it, it isn't just like caring for adults is really not and we, we say that over the years it's they're not just little people um, there are kids kids are folks who just look at things a little bit differently understand a little bit differently. So we incorporate a lot of diversion therapy. We use our child life staff. We do a lot of play um, as we interact and we teach our kids. You just have to approach things differently with children. And so having, again, an environment, if you walk through the hospital, you'll see right away, it doesn't look like a traditional hospital. It's very fun, lots of colors, lots of diversion activities, and that's very purposeful. There's an outdoor garden at the new hospital, really a focus on play and a focus on family care, family-centered care. That's right. Family-centered care started in children's hospitals many years ago. This new facility really helps us just to um, be able to do that even better. So there's family, family space all over the hospital. And in fact, our family advisory councils were very involved in helping us develop that space. Um, they told us what they need. So for example, we have laundry facilities um, on very one of our important. floors. So if you're here with our, your neonatal baby for sometimes months at a time, you need a place to wash your clothes. So that's the kind of input we got from our families um, who really know what it's like to be there. We're pleased to be able to give people a sneak peek this morning, and we're very pleased that you could come in and share some of the information with us. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you. My pleasure. We are less than 24 hours away from the latest edition on the Medical Mile from opening its doors. The new Helen DeVos Children's Hospital will have quite a bit to offer the children of West Michigan, from a neonatal ICU to a pediatric emergency room. I'm joined this morning by Dr. Matthew Denenberg, who is one of the doctors just waiting for patients to start coming into the new hospital tomorrow morning. And I know, especially for you, the exciting feature here, the ER opens at 7 o'clock in the morning. Can you explain why this ER is a little different from what you might find in other hospitals? I think the main difference is that our emergency department is designed and, and staffed and equipped for children. It's, yeah, it's special, 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 uh, specialized to take care of kids in the community. And I know one of the unique features that everybody likes to talk about is the nitrous oxide, the laughing gas. Can you explain how that is helpful for children in this situation? You know, just like dentists have used for years, we use laughing gas or nitrous oxide to help alleviate anxiety and pain in kids when we're doing certain procedures uh, to them. That, that are, and, and we've actually been able to, to pipe it into every room in the department. All 20 rooms will have availability of nitrous oxide. Just to help relax children, take care of whatever you need to in the ER. Can you tell us a little bit about why this ER might be different from others that a parent might take their child to. In what case would you want to bring your children to a, a pediatric ER versus whatever might be closest to your local hospital? I, th I think the main difference is that we've, we've prepared the space and the emergency department to be ready for children of all ages and sizes. And our staff is specially trained and specially dedicated to taking care of kids. And I think it's the staff that's the big deal is, is, in the emergency department is that we, we have staff that, that really only uh, are trained to take care of kids. And when we're talking about children, we are talking about possibly serving a million children in the, in the region. Can you talk a little bit about what this means for West Michigan 
and the larger area here that this this particular hospital will focus on? I think it, it puts us in. Um, we have three children's hospitals in the state of Michigan, and it, and it puts a children's hospital in West Michigan to cover, you know, almost half of the state. So I think that's that's the benefit of having a children's hospital in this part of the, you know, the state. And it's really specialized pediatric care. We were talking earlier that kids aren't just little mini adults. You really do need to have some special features to help help them heal, even psychologically deal with it with illness. It's a it's a whole different approach. I always tell people it's not the size of the child that makes the care unique, it's the development of the child. Every child, you know, children have development, are developmentally different than adults and they need to be approached and treated differently than adults. Dr. Matthew Denenberg, we appreciate your time with us this morning. Busy day with the ER opening tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you.